the f Hey there guys, my name is Rotor, and today we're going to be checking out Decrypt. Now, before I jump into this, I want to say, first of all, I found this game uh, during a previous live stream, and I said I would probably check it out in a video, so I'm going to do that right now. But, camera's in a different position. It's kind of tilted back a little bit to try and get me in frame, but you can see the, the, the vent there-ish. I don't know how this works. Right there, that vent. Um... I might lean forward and go out of frame or something, so you guys let me know what you think about the camera placement down below in the comment section there. And um, yeah, my throat is burning, so this will be fun. Let's go ahead and hop in. I don't know much about this game, it's like a, a space ship exploration, something along the lines of like Alien, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything about it other than what uh, I learned during the stream, which is not much. Let's go ahead and hop in. Okay. The ISS Tavern, a Class C freight vessel on routine cargo run, fails to arrive at destination Exilibus 3. I probably said that wrong. After repeated failed attempts to contact the GIS Trade Federation, reports it missing. 72 hours later, the tavern is found drifting near Fringe System. It's thousands of clicks off course. Also, I'm pretty sure that the game looked better. Oh, its primary power system is offline and common channel silent. Thrust is dead. There is no perceived activity on board. I just want to drink some water. The crew members remain unreachable. I, I think the game looked better, but that guy's messing around in the settings, and I think I might have messed something up. So, hopefully not. Am I doing anything here? Well, when you look at that, a Generation 1 BT manufactured freight vessel. Never thought I'd see one of those still operational. That ship's practically a relic. I'm surprised. So, oh. you got the brief right? The ship didn't turn up at the Zebulus 3 spaceport. A couple of the days Zebulus. later, a merchant freight transporting minerals to the Expo Belt spots it on Ladar. It oh. appears to have lost power and coasted a couple hundred thousand clicks off its original course. No comms, no signs of the crew. Looks like they abandoned ship. <sighs> Can't say I blame them. The GIS fines for delayed shipments due to avoidable technical faults are brutal. It would have wiped out the crew's pay for months. Abandoning the ship and claiming that their lives were at risk due to a technical failure gets them off the hook because the insurance companies take the hit. And with a ship that old, it'd be hard to prove otherwise. The system's messed up, what can I say? Now we're left to clean up the mess and file the paperwork. The Traven's crew is still at large, but our patrols will find them. They're probably at a Katina somewhere in this sector. We'll try to get the truth out of them, but I don't have much hope. You know the drill. Once you're on the ship, head to the bridge and extract all the primary logs you can get. Any evidence we can find to tell us what actually happened will help us close this quicker. I'll call you as soon as you're inside. Okay. Sounds like a simple enough premise. Going into this very, very unprepared. Oh, okay, yeah, so... So, the bad news first. The Can't schematics move. we have on file for this ship's model are so old, they're obsolete. BT stopped making these in 09, and it's been modded beyond recognition over the years. So, you'll have no nav map assistance on your HUD on this mission. Sorry about that. The good news, however, is that this ship's layout should be pretty rudimentary. This maintenance hall should lead you out to the ship's primary quarters and then to the bridge. Take the large bay door up ahead and keep moving towards the front of the ship. Since the primary power is down, a lot of the subsystems won't be operational, but most doorways should still work. I'll check back with you in a bit. I'm gonna see what I can dig up on the crew. Might give us a clue to what actually happened here. Okay. I walk incredibly slow. <clears throat> the door access panel is secured by biocode encrypted keycard access proceed decryption override key required 
LSS control. Can't move. <laughs> More bad news. The security systems on this relic are so archaic, your override tool's master key bank doesn't have its decryption sequence. I don't think our algorithms go back that far, but that's not a problem. You'll just have to find a terminal on the ship's network that's still online, and then you can mine crypto keys to complete the missing chains. You should also be able to pull out encrypted messages from the comm system, which will be helpful. Hold on, I'm adding a crypto keychain module to your tool belt now. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Door security offline. All right, all right. What do we have here? Terminal, sure. I didn't read that. Injecting mining ware. Please stand by. Next. Encrypted message obtained. They're in the ship. That's what Manu said yesterday in the mess hall. I noticed he wasn't eating, just staring fixedly at the door. His face was paled. Plaid? Played. I'm assuming that's paled, but probably not. He told me he wasn't sleeping well. The noises. Don't you hear them? He said. Noises, I said. The thuds, the groans, he said. They're coming from the very heart of this vessel. I told him I heard them too, that we all did, and they were just the sounds of the bones of this old ship settling. The tectonic shifts of metal plates long past their prime. But he seemed barely he seemed to barely register what I said when he looked at me, his eyes had fixed quality had a fixed quality that I didn't much care for. He said, They're on the ship. Just that one cryptic sentence. I want you to see him, Doc. I'm worried about him. He hasn't been himself since we started this run. Okay, so we're in for a fun time on the ship, I see. Okay, bio creeper, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, sure, go for it. So I'm guessing a ah, two keys required. So I do have to go in here. Okay, I get you. I don't get it, <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend that I do. Oh god, it hurts. My throat is burning right now for some reason. Okay, hello, LSS. What is LSS exactly? Log something something? Power needed? Anything else? No? Okay, so... What are you? Why are you making this noise? Okay, so I just need to access this, interface with it, and I need... Ah! God, it hurts. <laughs> Encrypted message obtained. Terminal 4 is crapped out. I swear, this junkyard ship is falling apart. The power backup... Uh, functions and network failures are growing worse. We flipped back and forth to backup power a dozen times already since we left Nagari? At this rate, we won't make it halfway to Zelibus? Zebulus. Zebulus. The temporary power rig you set up for Terminal 4 is still missing a power cell. You told me you'd put one in yesterday. I guess you forgot. Can't say I blame you, what with all the shit going down. Should you replace the cell, please. There's a spare locker storage and locker. Code is 14121. Okay. If I learned anything from Alien Isolation, it's never trust events in the ceiling. There we go. Power sale obtained. Alright, so. Oh. Okay, power's gonna flash on and off. 
I'm having a little bit of trouble swallowing right now. Uh, where my nose drains into my throat is really sore. Uh, partially from sinuses, which have been acting up because of all the streams as of late. This goes into four. Oh, right, that's over here. This thing that says offline needs power, right? Right? How do I give it power? Oh, do I follow this? Ah. Enter power. That is large. <laughs> Okay. But then that gets me this, that gets me the door, I'm guessing. So I got more to read. I did not know this was going to be a lot of reading, because it kind of hurts. <clears throat> Manu's condition concerns me. He... vacillates... Vacillat, va facilitates, Vacil that actually sounds probably right, facilitates, between nervous energy and a kind of sullen silence. His pronouncements are growing increasingly dire and nonsensical. He, he, well, he exhibits a high degree of, thanks Windows, he exhibits a high degree of paranoia. He says they are down in the cargo hold. He seems to be withdrawing into himself. Doc saw him earlier today. He said he'll give me an update soon. It's odd how Manu is... I'm probably saying that so wrong. It's like Ma Manau? I don't know. Manu is so troubled by those noises. <clears throat> they are, to be honest, disconcerting. George said that Sounds have a way of resonating in an old ship like this. He says they're likely originating from the cargo hold below, where the ship's core structural spine is, and traveling through the air ducts. Nia, any luck with those records? I want... Ouch. I want anything you can get on the history of this ship. Who owned it before Naveau? Who was the last crew? How long has it... How long since FCA approval? And so on. We know this ship is pre Gorat War, which makes sense about half a ES century e ES century old. Okay, this is a lot of weird weird text I don't understand, a lot of weird language here. Uh, half a ES century old, the bizarre power fluctuations and randomly failing subsystems bode ill. The ship was perfectly all right when we left Nagari. If, they'd, if they've dumped a crippled vessel on us to balance their books, I'm going to have heads roll at GIS. I won't risk the life of my crew for the sake of this stupid corporate fuckery. Extraction complete. Now we've got two key cards. Where's the door? <coughs> God, my throat. Okay, could you... Live. Low light detected. Suit flashlight charged. Press F. Yeah, I gathered. Okay. Whew. So, have I mentioned that I don't like horror games? I mean, I do. I enjoy a good... I'm calling it now that shadow right there. It's going to move. Right? Right. Ah! It looked like an alien doing this. Well, the only thing I can do is go this way. Because I need to see who's over here. Lovely. Um, okay, in here. Got another locker. What do we have here? Access this terminal, please. Injecting mining ware. Booting. But moving around a little bit. Whew, just trying to get woke up. It's, uh... The G Fuel's wearing off a bit, and I'm... Feeling a bit loopy. <laughs> Definitely feeling loopy. 
I tried everything, boss, but I'm unable to figure out the power issue. All systems are testing fine on our maintenance tools. Creating. And now we have the leaks. I have no clue what that foul, what the foul smelling green stuff is coming from out of the vents. I said that so wrong. Rico says it looks and smells like acid fertilizers they used on the fields in his home world, but that's ridiculous. We ain't carrying any such thing on our cargo. And even if we were, if there was a leak from the containers, the stuff wouldn't flow through our airflow system. Also, I don't know how to say this, boss, but the crew are a bit jittery. This is just a small vessel. There's just ten of us. It's not like the first run. Some of these guys have been on trips past the seven systems, but the ship has some bad mojo. So hold up. There's ten people on this ship, and from the outside it's kind of large. That's a little weird to me, but okay. The way Manu's going off his head, and now Rico says he saw something yesterday in the corridor. He looks shook. And you know Rico. He's as steady as a stone, and always thinks he's right. So I went and checked, didn't see anything. Not then, but then the day before, while I was surveying the vents, I swear, I saw something moving up there in the dark. Look, I don't know, boss. I hate to sound like a greenfoot, but... I ain't at ease either. Something about this ship ain't right, and my sleep ain't working. I keep waking up, and I can't remember what woke me. Boo! Okay. I figured if I could scare it, it can't scare me, so that's the logic I'm working here. So this one has to take one. Has to. Okay. Is this spooky time? I knew it! I knew it! Where did you go? Oh, you went up there, didn't you? Hey, okay, okay, that's just a door. That was just a door. I got scared by just a door. Crypto key transmitted. Message obtained. Aaron. I had Manu come in yet today. He tried to avoid the appointment, which I was expecting, so I had Nia escort him here. It's hard to say no to Nia. Haha. -ha. You're right. It's shocking how sickly he looks. He didn't talk at first, and when he finally did, he asked, no, begged me for some... Tra Tracrozon uh, 500 or better known as Blank Slate among the wreck drug kids and deep out by the guys in the military but I digress so it's what it's like morphine or weed it's like a, a zone out chill out forget your worries drug I don't know uh, when I told him we can't issue out a sedative that strong without a good reason, he said he sure as hell had a good reason. I haven't slept in days, he said. Why not, I said. Having bad dreams? Well, this doctor seems kind of like a dick. The reason I asked him that was because I had two others come in with the same complaint, he said. Yes, I think so. Uh, I asked him what the dreams were about, and he said he couldn't remember, but I sensed he was being evasive. When I probed, he said, they're in here with us. Who? I asked. At first, he did not reply. He stared into a corner of the room and at the beds. Finally, he turned to me, his eyes locked with mine, and he said, we should never have set foot on this ship. We shouldn't be here. I must admit that a chill went down my spine. Something about the whole business is troubling. I checked his vitals, and they were fine. His blood pressure a little higher than normal, but I would have been surprised if it weren't. He's lost some weight, and he's exhausted, but at least physically he is fine. 
His condition appears to be the result of a sustained level high of sustained levels of high anxiety bordering on paranoia. I prescribed him half a dose of that. He popped he popped the pill right here before I could stop him, so I sent him to his room. He was so distracted that he left his access key to the network data in data room here and I asked him to move to the locker so someone can pick it up in case they aren't here. Nia reset the code and it is now 1109. I don't really want to. Okay, fine. I, just, I, don't, I don't trust the thing in the ceiling. Don't trust the thing in the ceiling. Spice. Blood pressure. Okay. Got scared by a damn door. Okay, in data. Where was in data? That was over here, right? That's the next one. But this is a storage room. Okay, so now. We got the in data key card. And the in data was this one. And we have a key card for it, so we don't actually even need to hack it. No ceiling panels here, right? Good. Why are there so many weird noises in here? And this will get us two that'll let us go over to the other rooms, right? Or maybe it'll get us something to the other locker, probably. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm talking too far away from the microphone, which is why I've moved it up. I don't know. Now I feel like I'm talking too close, but also I feel like I'm out of frame because I can't see it anywhere. And, oh, it's just all a pain. And... Cap, the security systems are failing one by one. We've got doors suddenly completely inoperable, and then they return to normalcy. Minutes, minutes later, for no apparent reason. The system diagnostics reveal nothing. I'm switching all doors to BioRec to man in from BioRec to manual access key. The others aren't going to like it, but until we figure out what's causing this, I'd feel better if we keep protocols basic. I suspect the green fluid that's coming out of the vent is seeping into the ship's electronics. Although if that were so, everything would be shorting out by now. George is doing his best to keep the ducks clean but stuff keeps just coming back and it's driving him crazy. I don't mean to cry doom, but the way things are going, it's possible that all primary systems may fail us before we reach Zillibus. Zablutus? <sighs> if you ask me, this ship should never have left Nagari, but I saw the GIS reports with my own eyes before we left. They cleared the ship to take off. They cleared the ship to take off. Their diagnostics were legit. All systems were go. 20 years in ship system ops, I've never seen anything like this. It just doesn't make sense. Something's seriously wrong with this vessel, and I don't just mean the electronics. You see, look in everyone's eyes. You see the look in everyone's eyes. No one's sleeping right, and nobody will talk about it. George saw something in the air ducts, but he wouldn't say what. All I know is that he looked more perturbed than usual. I've seen something too, Cap. I don't even... I can't even explain. Something unspeakable in the shadows. There was no code here. God, I don't trust it anymore. Just don't trust it anymore. So I guess I got a code here for the other door, right? I get a code to the other locker. And then that locker will lead me um, with probably a key for the big door. I hope. Oh, gray vents. My favorite. Oh, you're going to force me to walk under it. Something's going to happen. 
You mother person. That wasn't even that scary, but it got me. Definitely got me. Most of the terminals have gone offline again, Cap. And one or two have shut down completely. Everyone's dumping on me, but what can I do? I still think something is getting in, getting at the wiring. I tried to get George to take a look, but he's too busy trying to keep the LSS going. And he's so stressed, he yells at me if I talk to him. We only got three terminals online. And now Terminal 7 is powered down too. I managed to set up auxiliary power rig, but we're short of cell, and I loaned one of to the men last week. George could collect it and hook it up when he has time. He won't pay me any aid. He can't take it from the med locker directly. The code is one, two, three, four. Yeah, I know, but Doc asked me to keep it simple. One, two, three, four. I, could, I, I literally... Uh, okay. What the f... The lights are still on. Oh. This game is creepier by the fact that I can't move faster. Boss, I think the engines are getting affected now. Did you feel that hitch an hour ago? It's crazy. And did Nia tell you about comms? I'll let her give you the bad news herself. I don't think we're going to get that SOS out. Also, you need to talk to Rico, boss. He's getting on my nerves. He keeps asking me to check every damn duct in the ship. And I already got my hands full. Uh, this is from George. Also... Did you let him alter the security protocol on every damn door? He's turned off BioRec and switched physical access key cards, like we're back on the 22nd century. He says he wanted no one anywhere without physical card on their person. He's causing havoc. I've already misplaced the access key to my room somewhere. I think I left it in the showers. Now I need to waste more time finding the thing. Also, have you seen Manu anywhere? He's not in his room, and Doc said he shouldn't be wandering around because he's on a pretty strong med. If you see him, tell him Doc's looking for him. Urgently. Thanks. Oh boy. This wasn't on before. Oh, because I need that. Yeah. Gotcha. I need three to proceed. I'm seriously concerned about the way things are going. The ship's practically falling apart around us. I can't risk this anymore. I've told Nia to put out an SOS signal and flag down the first passing ship. I know that this will result in all kinds of trouble with GIS, those ruthless bastards. They'll try to pin a failed run on us, accuse us of pulling an insurance scam, and then hammer us with fines, but that's okay. I'm not going to risk the lives of my people. And then, the other stuff. Manu hasn't left his room in two days, and the others are rattled and on edge. I don't care what this is, collective hysteria, lock-in syndrome, what matters is that the incidents, I don't know what else to call it, are growing more frightening. There can be no more denying it. Something is in here with us, and it means us great harm. Well, thanks, Captain. I appreciate 
your honesty. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, it forced me to stop moving. Hey, I've been trying to reach you. Something is interrupting comms out of that ship. If you're seeing this, listen. We tried to locate the crew. We put out a bulletin at every system in this sector, but we came up empty. We traced the course of the tavern, and not a single vessel rendezvoused with it since it left Nagari. It looks like the crew never left the ship. You don't say. I've requested Debt 2 to take over this investigation. This isn't a data ops mission anymore. Abort and head to the nearest airlock. There should be one by the bridge or down in the cargo bay. Listen, I see. There's something else. I've looked up records on this ship, and here's where things get really strange. It appears this isn't the first time there's been an incident missing it. Absolutely nothing has changed. So if you hear any strange sounds from around me, they're probably part of the game, maybe. Who knows? Okay. Everything looks like it's just working. Um, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go this way first. Oh, this is somehow worse. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's normal. That's absolutely normal. Wing to a room two wing a access card. Okay, that's normal. Hi! Hello! You feeling alright? Guess so. He must be feeling fine. Wing A, room two. Room two. Room two, here we go. Don't like that that's open. How can a person go missing in a confined vessel in boundless interstellar space? We searched every corner of this cursed ship and we found no trace of Mano. He had grown more withdrawn over the last few days. When I visited him the day before, I noticed a smell about him. It wasn't just the stench of an unwashed body, but something lower, an animal smell of desperation. He stared past me into the corridor when I tried to talk to him. None of the escape pods have deployed. They're not even operational now, so he has to be on the ship. Except he isn't. I see the raw panic in the eyes of the others. Some of them are urging me to turn the ship around, but the state it's in, we're not going to make it back. Nia is working on getting the SOS out, but comms isn't fully operational yet. More troubles. We're going to do everything we can to find Mano. He has to be here. Meanwhile, the sight sightings are getting more frequent, and the nature of the encounters more horrific. What have those things done to Mano? Where have they taken him? For I have no doubt in my mind they are responsible. I can sense a growing malevolence, a kind of hunger. God help us. I have given standing instructions to the crew until we know how to deal with them. If you see one of those things, run. Do not engage. Turn and run. Okay, well, I can't really run very fast. Oh, oh, turn and run, right? Yeah, okay. Turn and run. Turn and run. Okay. Does that mean it's gone? Hello? Mm. 
I, I assume it's gone. Can't run very fast, so I assume that either it'll just be scripted to get me or. Wing A, room 5. Okay, so it wants me to go back. Of course it does. Like I said, he'd seen Menno heading down towards the cargo hold, but we checked the power grid is... We checked the power grid is almost shorted, so there's hardly any light down there. Those horrible sounds seemed louder down there, but no signal, no sign. I'm still not able to get comms back up, so the SOS isn't looking likely. I can't seem to isolate the problem. The electronics check out okay, but... All we're getting back is static. It just doesn't make sense. Everyone's seeing those things now, and the encounters are more violent. George thinks they're coming through the vents, but I'm not sure. They seem to appear out of thin air. I mean... Yeah, okay. There's something else. Just before comms went down, I got a message from my contact at the GIS. I just saw it now in the records of the ship history you requested. I'm pouring over them, and I'll send you a summary shortly. You're not going to believe what I found. Is it darker down this corridor now? Okay. Okay. Hello? Whatever little chance we had of getting the system back is gone with Rico. The engines are dead, the nav systems are shot, and we're coasting, heading off course. With comms down, we're incommunicado. We can't even get the escape pods operational. Now that Rico's missing, I want you to do everything you can to keep life support systems running until we can find a way off the ship. Rico had the key for the LSS room. It should be in his locker along with the spare power cell to get the, get the key and the power cell and head before head to 4 LSS room and try to get at least one terminal going. Since the trouble started, Rico moved to room 3 in wing B and he didn't want to be near the old room. He had handed over the codes to me yesterday, just in case. 9971. Be careful, George. Okay. Uh, move so slow. I'm gonna move so slow, but I'm gonna get it done and I'm going. Nine nine seven one. Okay, I like that it's lit down here. It makes me feel comfortable. Okay, no. Don't like that. LSS control room access card. So where is LSS? I don't know. Is it this way? Hello? Yeah, okay. That's great. Can I just shimmy through? Just shimmy past? No? Okay. Okay, I know how this is going to play out. I think. I'm going to get jump scared. I'm going to have to run. It's going to be a whole thing. Oh, okay. My headache has grown a bit stronger, so I'm not talking as much as I probably should be. So I hope you guys understand. I apologize in advance. Okay. This is normal. I got away, but I'm trapped in medbay. Doc's not here. I hope to God he's okay. 
We haven't found Rico yet. I have no idea where the others are. I last saw Jones and... Some in the maintenance hall an hour ago, but no word from them since. So about those records, I learned the ship was purchased from... What is going on? BT in 2395 by the Thoanes system. My the Thoanes, if you remember, were a part of a rebel movement out in the Puxus Belt. Puxus Belt? For nearly half a century, they invaded and conquered dozens of worlds on the outer edge of the belt. Their government was theocratic. They followed a creed that espoused rigid social segregation based on genetics. They believed that one's genes, or rather specific codes in our genomes, defined one's worth and place in society. You know how I feel about that genetic race eugenics it's all the same, just another instrument that humans have used since the dawn of time to oppress and exploit the other. The ideology in a thin cover for profit. Every member of the Thillian society and their colonies, every man, woman, child, were put into their social order, and the lowest stetra, strata, were the slaves. The Thillian subjected their slaves to all manner of atrocities. Atrocities. The slaves had their wills and bodies broken. They were not allowed to marry, but were instead bred. Generations were born into bondage. Despite pressures from Sintre, the Thoans refused to give up their devastating enterprise. Before the Gurat Wars vanquished their government, they had enslaved and sold thousands across the stars. This vessel, the ISS Traven, was a slaver ship, its cargo bay a slavehold. Its purpose was to carry its ill-fated cargo across interstellar space for trade and profit. After the war and dis dissemination of the Thoane government, the Traven disappears off the records for a time. It reappears nearly a decade later, and then it's been sold off pittance, pittance to off-world merchant traders who renovated it and used it for interplanetary cargo runs. Over the years, the ship changed hands frequently, often abruptly, and the records of it being abandoned briefly at salvage docks to be scrapped. There are other stories, whispers, bizarre incidents, crew abandonment, illness, death. The crew before us did not just a single run before they sold it. The crew before us did just a single run before they sold it to interior dealership which they sold it to Navo. Navo made a killing on the deal, and that's how we're here. But there's more, something far worse. During a slavery era, an incident occurred on this ship so horrific that I could find nothing about it on the official GIS records. My contact dug out of the what? My contact dug it out of the wire. I'll tell you more when I meet you at the bridge. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see. I get it. Uh-huh. No. No thanks. No thanks. Go away. Go away. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll pass. Eek. Shiki, shiki, shiki. I'm supposed to go down the hallway. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, I should have... Oh, well. Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. Access has been granted. Let's move. Mess all. Okay. The mess hall? Oh god, no. There's one down there. Lounge. I gotta go down here. I threw a... Ash, the guy that nearby... Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, n fun. You gonna... Yep. I ain't afraid of you. Okay, no, I'm afraid of you now. And I'm dead. Is that the crew? Okay. So my so supposed to do something? Bubba la la ba. Bubba la la ba. Gotcha. 
Pepperlava. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. What were you hiding? Lounge access card. Okay, lag. Thank you. You. Okay. Bash on him. Surely nothing can go wrong in the lounge. You're welcome, by the way. I can't reach Jones. 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 I can't reach Jones and Summit any longer. We're down just to four people now. I can't make it to the bridge. There's too many of those things now. The dock's gone too. I haven't been able to reach anyone over the local network in hours. I'm not sure where you are, or if you'll even see this. The thing that happened on the ship during the Thoian era may have been bearing. <coughs> in the Thoian era, may have a bearing on what we're going through now. Just before the war, during a run, about 120 slaves broke free from the holding cells below and charged into the upper decks. They overpowered and killed two crew members and were making for the bridge. The crew sealed the primary doors and trapped them all in the trapped them all in the bridge hall. The captain authorized pumping Q11A6 nerve gas, long band, into the decks. The slaves were already weak from drugs used to sedate them and their meager rations. The nerve gas paralyzed them and decimated the uprising. As retribution and, to set an example, the crew flayed the slaves to an inch of their lives, slashed and seared their bodies, then hawed off, hewed off noses, lips, ears. They were then thrown, still alive, into vats of acid fertilizer in the hold. K11-12, a bile green amalgamate used in the off-world for soil prep. They died slow, agonizing deaths down in the dark. The ship returned to its home world. There were no chain there were no charges made against the crew. Instead, they were lauded for quailing an uprising. The incident was wiped from official records. The Garot War followed a few years later, and we know the rest. The Thoans were crushed and the ships disappeared nearly a decade. It was likely used to ferry weapons, soldiers, for the war effort at the time. Captain, there are forces at work beyond our ability to understand. These walls have seen too much blood. This vessel should never fly again. In case I don't see you again, I'd like to tell you that you did all you could. It's been an honor to serve with you. Alright, cool. We play some cards. Some game? Ugh, okay. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Alright, I got a... I got a key for that. Okay, this has... This is it. Right? How is this not it? How is this not it? Ah, yes, you want me to go to the cargo hold. Gotcha. That's how it's not it. Because I'm gonna die. Alright, all hands forward. Full steam ahead. Also, I hope everything sounds alright. I'm using a... trying to use a new microphone. Portion... Okay, no, the ship's just haunted. Ship's just haunted. Cool. Snare lock? Yeah. Yeah, airlock me. Let's go. Let's go. What you got? No, it's not an airlock. I mean, I guess it technically would be. Oh, if it's a maze, I'm out. If this turns into a maze, I am 100% out. Okay. Cool. Great. Awesome. I'm happy for you captain. To whoever sees this, they're all gone. George, Rico, Doc, Ian, Jones, Summit, Vasu, Manu, Nia. Their names ring in my head like a death chant, their faces ever in my mind. I could not save them, though I should have been able to. 
We've fallen through a shink in the space and time. We've slipped into another world where the past and the present have somehow collided, where the dead do not rest, where the living are made ghosts. There is no explanation for what has happened here, except that sometimes history is a dead weight that burdens the living. We pay for the past through what we have raised, neither first nor whip. To the dead, we must all look the same. I'm going to keep looking for them down here. George, Rico, Doc, Ian, Jones, Summit, Visu, Manu, and Nia. And if I can't find them, I'm going to try to make it to the EVA airlock at the end of the cargo hold, too. If I get out, I'll find a way to have the ship destroyed. Let the vessel and whatever walks in it be buried forever. Captain Aaron David, the ISS Traven. Okay, so I needed to come here. And what, now I just book it? Yeah. Hold shift to run. I'm running. I am running. Yo. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this game. We're playing this game, are we? Okay, that's... I, I, I see your game. Let's go. I am not looking behind me because I already run slow enough. Hi, pal. Hi, pal. Yeah. Yeah, they, they seem to be moving a bit faster than me. No. No, let me out. Let me out. I'll bury you. I'll bury you. I'll bury you. I'll bury you. Oh god. Oh, I'm dead. I'm about to die, aren't I? The music's still going. Security disabled. Security disabled. Security key card. Access key card. Where does this key card go? Oh my. Maybe we just take a sec. Maybe we just take a second. Like, where do I go from here? Do I go back? Cargo hold two. Yeah, Maybe I go this way, the way that this guy was walking from. Makes sense to me. I, I understand. Yeah, I got you. 100%. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm totally not losing circulation to my head right now from just having a bad headache and wearing a hat with headphones. That's totally not what's happening to me. It's actually not what's happening to me. That was a modern forklift. I like that. I like seeing that. That that 20th, 21st century technology. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're good. We're good. Not entirely sure why the dead people would be hanging out in cargo crates, but, you know, they can do them. <laughs> they can do them, they can do them. I assume I gotta go this way, because there didn't seem to be any door there, and I've got no key. Oh. Shoot. Shoot fruit. Oh, oh, am I right? Airlock. Airlock. Yes. Yes, airlock. Airlock. Yes, airlock. Yes, airlock. Yes, airlock. Yes, Pretty sure that's not where I came in at, but sure, why not? Absolutely. I hope you're okay. Debt 2 officers will arrive on the scene soon. I just saw the messages you obtained from the ship's networks. I've sent them over to the labs. None of it makes sense for now, but it should help us bring closure to this investigation. Well done. A week after your mission, the ISS Tavern deregistered by the GIS and transported to Orbital Scrap Processor for destruction. The crew were never found. I assume they sent in, like, a, a big armed team to go in there and try and find everybody? The end. Okay, well. I'm definitely not going back in there, so... That was Decrypt. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on this one. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if the microphone sounded a little better in that last portion. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the face cam placement. And I'll see you in whatever comes next. Bye guys.